So the Seattle Seahawks, they have a ton of money to spend in free agency thanks to Geno Smith's team-friendly deal. The cap hit is only $10.1 million in 2023, and they actually can get out of his contract at just $27 million because the $12 million guaranteed that he would be owed is only if they don't cut him before February. So I mentioned this in my uh, Seahawks Discord. If you're not in that, by the way, make sure you go and join it and comment. I said that Gina will not be the quarterback next season. And I was surprised because most people actually did agree with me. And it's pretty simple. This deal, it gets Gino paid, but it's also super easy to get out of. And it's basically based around incentives. So Gino, he agreed to that, which he could have tested for agency. He could have got way more money because Daniel Jones got, what, 160. Derek Carr is getting like 37 and a half million a year. Gino is a, Gino's not an average quarterback. Daniel Jones and Derek Carr are average quarterbacks. Geno Smith's a good quarterback. So he takes this deal. Can you win a Super Bowl with Geno Smith? I don't know. I don't know if Geno can beat some of these top teams in the league. But I do know that the only way to find out is to improve the defense, right? Seattle, if they had a mediocre defense, they would have made a deep playoff run. And Geno led the league in completion. He had 30 touchdowns. Threw for over 4,000 yards, right? I mean... Geno Smith is, he's a good quarterback. The Seattle Seahawks, I don't think they could be in a better situation. Like, sure, they could have Patrick Mahomes, but they have a top 10 quarterback in the league, probably the second best quarterback in the NFC. Again, Derek Carr might be the second best in the NFC. That's how bad it is. Jalen Hurts is the best, of course. Aaron Rodgers, I mean, Aaron Rodgers is better than Derek Carr. I, I should have, uh, Aaron Rodgers kind of pisses me off being real with you, but I digress. So let's talk about what the Seattle Seahawks should do. For number one, Carolina, see what quarterback they take. Bryce Young. Texans also need a quarterback. They're going to go with Anthony Richardson. You can't even hit on it. Three, Christian Gonzalez. Oh, my God. CJ Stroud goes four. Regardless, that doesn't matter because we still would have had Jalen Carter, if they took Will Anderson, who they certainly will. The more the days go on, the more you start to realize that he actually might be there at five. It's crazy to think about the Seahawks, a team that won nine games that could add this type of player. I mean, it's just unreal. And to this point in time, we're looking at the board and Will Anderson Jr. falls to the Lions, which is pretty scary because the Lions are a team that was right there with the Seattle Seahawks, who was going to make that wild card spot. And the Seahawks have a tiebreaker. Their biggest win of the year might have even been against the Lions in that shootout they had. And to this point in time, we're just hoping that our favorite at 20 is there. And who is that? Probably. It's tough. It's either going to be JSN or Nolan Smith. I don't think the Seahawks need an edge. But also, you talk about increasing your chances to win the Super Bowl. Guys that can rush the passer, right? And that can cover in, in the secondary. So JSN is gone. I'm really curious to see where he goes to the Lions at 18. Can't even hit on that as well. Good draft for the Lions. So Brian Brzee is interesting. I, I don't think he's... I don't know if he's like a first-round pick, though. The corner here. And Deontay Banks. Nolan Smith has to be the pick. Bijan Robinson's interesting because... Again, this is a top four player in the draft at 20. This is going to sound crazy, but I'm, I'm going to take Bijan Robinson. You have to realize that you know, Rashad Penny was picked before Nick Chubb, of course, but you know the reason why he didn't work out in the NFL was because he couldn't stay healthy. When, remember at the end of uh, the 2022 season, I mean, this guy was healthy and was playing unbelievable. So I'm taking the talent. The Seahawks are a run for his team. And you now have Geno Smith, Bijan Robinson, Kenneth Walker. That is pretty good. I mean, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett. Wow. Okay, so here we are. So we could take Tanner McKee. He's definitely a day two pick. He could be the future. I'd rather just re-sign Drew Lock, though, if I'm being honest with you guys. BJ Ojolari is certainly interesting. Jalen Carter and Ojolari, you just... When you're, you're playing against these top teams in the NFL, right? The Eagles, the Chiefs, the Bills, the Bengals, you've got to be able to get to the quarterback. And the Seahawks just greatly increased those chances. So we'll go with him. 
Again, do the Seahawks need him? Probably not, but could they use him? Yeah, they could. So at this point in time, I'm probably, I can't even speed it up. This is when, oh, I can't speed it up. Here we go. To this point in time, I'm going to take the linebacker. I don't know anything about him, but the Seahawks just need linebackers. Like Tanner Muse might be resigned. Just that's so bad that he linebacker. So we'll take him, right? We need a center. To this point now, I'm just looking at position needs. Let's actually see our grade. <laughs> that's hilarious. I literally don't know anything about college football, and I'm getting A's across the board. B's and Robinson, B+. Plus. <laughs> that's just ridiculous. I mean, good luck stopping an offense with Bijan and Robinson, Kenneth Walker, Geno Smith, Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, and these tight ends. And I'm looking at a Noah Fant, Disley. I mean... Wow, we we killed this draft. Let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna be I'm gonna just gonna keep it a buck with you guys, a stack. If you know college football, let me know how I did. Cause I couldn't tell you really anything about most of these players, but what I do know is that you know every single need we filled and we got a flashy player in Bijan who could be a top five player in this draft. And I feel great about this. I'll tell you right now, if the Chiefs, uh <laughs> the Chiefs, I'll tell you right now, if the Seahawks, if they use money and get aggressive in free agency and then pair that with this. They're winning the Super Bowl. They're winning the Super Bowl. Guys, John Snyder, I'm coming for your job. I'm, I'm not coming for your job. I'm sticking to YouTube, bro. That's where I belong. But peace out, boys.